on this video, we're going to go over the history of the GeoPro ePro line. This is a brand name by Forest River. These uh, particular cameras were made specifically to stay under a certain uh, poundage. They tried to keep it under at around 3,000 pounds in most cases. With slides, it goes up to maybe 3,000 uh, or 300 after the 3000 range uh, these are single axle campers and they don't exceed 20 foot there's some 12 footers and there's some 17 footers and 19s and 20s throughout the the brand they're uh, they started in 2018 like I said my dates may not be exactly right but uh, just stay with me I, this is about the good the best guess I came up with they start in 2018 and they go through 2021 20, and a half. So we'll go through the different trim levels through the years and we won't get into too many of the models till the end and then we'll do a section on some of the discontinued models. Starting in 2018 you can see that they started off with the traditional brown trim and they had the lighter countertops at first. Uh, this, this is something that they had pretty much had throughout their line so that's what they continued it as they went on I think then probably 2019 they went to the white the, the very light cabinetry uh, this is something that everybody seemed to like I know myself I like it all quite a bit and then again in the 2021 20, and a half model they went to a little bit darker trim uh, but a lot of people say they do like that trim as well now you can see here with the darker trim, the doors were dark brown and uh, a little bit different upholstery on the, uh, the dinette set. Um, and you'll see now with the 2018 model, they started going with the white door. And then again here, you'll see the little bit darker trim in the 2021 and a half model. Here you'll see the FD model with the dark trim in the back on the left hand side and then again the wider trim in the middle and then the darker trim in the last picture there. They did blacken out the uh, vent for the heater furnace. You see what it, it used to be white here and it's actually now black as it goes into the uh, heater. Now some of the refrigerators have been changed throughout the years. Originally they went with the two-way 110 LP refrigerator here on the left and then recent years because of supply problems they've gone to the 12 volt refrigerator. There's some people that say they just get a 110 but I believe the standard package now will be with the 12 volt refrigerator like you see on the right. Here you'll see the two refrigerators open the original LP 110 had the inside freezer compartment and it's a pretty large refrigerator uh, but it took almost all day for it to get up to temperature with the 12 volt it gets up to temperature pretty quick and it has a separate compartment for the freezer one thing you might notice if you look at the side of the, the newer campers the 20 21 and a half it doesn't have the louvers on the side here you'll see the window right behind the window the two big louvers for the Dometic refrigerator that used to be there and now they don't have that anymore. Over the years you can see the trim levels changed a little bit. I'm not sure about the ePro trim too much but this is the GeoPro. You'll see that it changed up a little bit with the striping on the back left corner here. Over there the first one there was your 2018. I think it, in 2019 they went to the one on the right. And here you'll see the front cap. Uh, there's a few little trim details that were changed on that. Notably, they've added the little the little mouth, as I call it, on the bottom of that front cap. I always get a kick out of looking in my back window and seeing that thing smile at me when I'm driving down the road. The sink has been upgraded. That's a nice upgrade with, they've had recently. That started with the 20, 21 and a half. You see the larger sink. And that's also when they went to the lighter cabinet the lighter cabinet uh, tops on these. You'll see the dark cabinet on the left as far as the uh, countertop and then the lighter cab countertop on the right. 
Now the solar has changed quite a bit over the years. Originally they just had a wired for solar package. You'll see here on the left that was just a little panel there. You go behind there, there's wires to actually hook up the solar controller, but it didn't come with a solar panel or the controller when they first came out. Now it became standard, I think, in 2019. That came standard with the 110 on top and then the controller here on the right, you'll see. And here's what it looks like up on top. You'll see that the the original solar panel that came standard was the flat one that lays flat on the roof. That was a 100 watt panel. And then on the right hand side, you'll see that the newer panel, I think, believe it's a 190 watt. It's actually a frame, a lot, lot nicer setup. One of the big improvements they did on the cabinetry was they originally only had one tab that held the joints together. As you can see here, it would break. So the newer models, I think from about 2019 up, had the two uh, plastic pieces that joined the actual corners and seemed to be a lot stronger. Another upgrade was with the toilet. Originally they had the Dometic 300, which actually had a plat, the whole thing was plastic. There was problems with this one. It didn't flush really well. It came out from the back and went around and it, it didn't, uh, it had a tendency to smell. So they've been upgraded to the Dometic 110, which if you notice, the way you can tell that as you look in the, the rim, you'll see the tiny dots where the water comes out and swirls around. That's one way they know that you've got the 310. Also, it's actually a porcelain base. So that's a good way to know if you've got the newer type toilet or not. And over the years, they actually got better at adding more compartments. This here's the FD model, and you'll see they actually added a uh, on the very bottom you'll see they added a compartment there that gets into the underneath the couch before you had to just lift up the front of the couch to get to that access or actually lift go through the couch this way you can actually do both and that's on both sides and that started in 2019 another upgrade from the uh, earlier edition was the plastic sink they originally had here and you'll see the darker countertop as well and then they went to the lighter countertop and the stainless steel sink in the kitchen, or actually not the kitchen, but the uh, bathroom. And that started in a 2021 and a half model. Another upgrade and a new standard feature, I think started in 20, either in 2019 or 2020, they did the standard three inch lift. They put a block in here to lift your the whole camper up. And then they added the Westlake tires. They're still a China made tire but they're a, more aggressive i'm not sure what the size on those are but they are a larger tire and it gives you a lot more clearance some other upgrades they did was made this an integrated panel in the back where you had all your hose connectors uh, they've also integrated the cable they have a cable hook up there and i believe there's a setup for like an antenna out there as well even though you have one on your roof but there's a more of an integrated panel also, if you look at the cabinets, you'll see that there's there, there's the hidden hinge, and that's actually done in the uh, 2021 and a half model. Another thing they did is the Wi-Fi Ranger. It was originally set by itself here on the left. You'll see the hookup. A lot of times they had trouble with water getting into those, and so they've integrated it now with the antenna for your TV. On the right hand side you'll see that's actually the Wi-Fi Ranger and a combo of your antenna and that's an omnidirectional you don't have to actually point that in a direction. Some of the models uh, that didn't have a sink before were upgraded where they actually have a sink that's in the shire compartment. I'm not sure what model this is but this is an upgrade that they didn't have in earlier models. I believe this happened in the 2020 or maybe it might have been the 2021 models that started. Some other changes they started in 2020 is like in the FD model and some of the couch models actually have this recliner set up. It doesn't recline but it has a footrest that pops out. So our next section is on the discontinued models. I know there may be a few that I may have missed but these are some of the ones that I noted. And uh, first off was the the 19QB which actually had a queen bed in the front. The next one was a 19RB, which stands for rear bed, and it actually had a canvas section that stuck out in the back. 
and I believe it was about a queen size bed in the canvas section. Now that they did make a smaller version of 17 at one time too. Next discontinued model is the 17 RK, which stood for rare ki rare kitchen, and uh, these were kind of nice. Had the big kitchen in the back, and then the next one is the 16 TH, which stood for toy hauler, and these were a small toy ha hauler. It's kind of a short one, didn't give you a lot of room in the back, so I guess they just decided to discontinue these models. I hope you enjoyed this little video on the history of different trim levels on the uh, Geo Pro and E Pro model and um, that's about all I have for this video and if you want to add some more into the comments of something that you may have found out throughout the years let me know in the comments and we'll see you again on one of my other videos